The big trains all smiled when they gave one a load, whether one piece of lumber or one bar of gold, and they laughed at the way his wheels would clatter, because they knew one of anything just didn't matter. Who's that? Oh, and then from the northeast there came a big silver train, the little trains all called the Beast. This is the Beast. Uh, you said it's silver in there and he's black? Mm, well. <laughs> why, is he, why is he the Beast? It, it, it's Filipino silver. It's called <laughs> Filipino silver. <laughs> Beast carried to Fargo a very strange cargo. The other trains all like the least. What do you think his cargo is? It's right behind him in here. It's monsters! Monsters. It wasn't that monsters were hairy and scary with bat wings that gave trains the creeps. It was more that those monsters kept blabbing and gabbing till no one could get any peace, they yelled. Little trains, little trains, where's your brains, where's your brains? There's an easier way, can't you see? Ride with us on to Fargo, hook right up with your cargo, we'll haul you and your load both for free. At first the little trains laughed in shocked disbelief. I am... Where did their brain go? Their <laughs> brains, it turned to mush right here. See his head's turn into mush? Why? And this one's got a comb in it. Because that's the way people get, or trains, pardon me. <laughs> People when do. they get something for free, <laughs> at first they laugh in shock disbelief. Unemployed trains, it can't be good grief. This one going hee hee hee. This one going ha ha ha. And this one, poo, is going snork because his nose is plugged. The thought made them grin. Such a silly old notion. A train whose own engine does not cause the motion. But a day came when Wimpy stubbed the wheel at a gate, and he thought, I quite simply cannot pull my freight. If I coast with my cargo, my wheel will heal. I'll be better by Fargo. I'll get past this raw deal. See his broken wheel? Got a sling. He hurt his wheel. So Wimp hitched a ride, and he started to glide with the monsters who rode with the beast. And he thought, this ain't bad, though he felt strangely sad as they started their trip from the east. But after a while, Whippy started to smile. He had never achieved such high speed. Why is his tongue sticking out? Because he hurt himself. So that makes his tongue hang out there. He's got a little button for a nose, and he's got glasses with little X's on him, and he's got a wimpy hat. That's called a wimpy hat. It's actually a bowler. What's that? This is another broken wheel. He's got two hurt wheels. He's got a broken wheel and a hurt arm. Yeah, after a while, Wimpy started to smile. He had never achieved such high speed, and though monsters were chatty... And that's Muffin. That's Muffin, it is. It's, you're right. Who's this? Wimpy. Wimpy. Who's this? This Wimpy. That's Wimpy, and that's Bouncy. He's got beach balls. You see, anytime you see beach balls, that's Bouncy. Anytime you see Muffin, he's got grain. Anytime you see... Where is she? Well, we can't see her. See those apples? Who do you think calls apples? Pie face. Pie face? Yeah. Where is pie face? Well, you can't see her. See this thing here? That's pie face. She's facing away from us. And then there's, who's this? Stinky. Carrie's a poo. Poo. <laughs> yeah, poo poo. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to have to carry. His entire life is poo -poo. dedicated to carrying poo poo. <laughs> When the trains, it's like a parent, you know that? Parent of a little child in diapers. Who's that? There's him again. That's the beast. Why, why is he called the beast? Uh, it's a hard question to answer, but because he's so big and he's so strong and he's got this goatee thing going for him and the shades and that, and it's just kind of a nice thing to do. Yeah, yeah isn't that terrible? When the train saw him smile, they hooked up single file. They decided to join in the fun. To heck with our cargo. Let's all go to Fargo. All the trains are hooked up except one. See, this says Fargo 300. Fargo 300. Use this one, but don't take the cap off of it. Okay. And give me that one. The trains shook their head when one wouldn't ride. One shook his head too. He said, I've got my pride. We don't need your help. We've got beasts, they all cried. 
So one wrote off empty. He felt awful inside. It says not in service. That means he's got no load to carry. And he's very sad about it. See that? Why that? Why does he, why doesn't, why don't they need any help? Because they him? got this big beast and they think he can carry everything. That's just let George do it, let beast do it, <laughs> let him handle everything. It'll all be okay if the government just takes care of us and we <laughs> vote for right. Obama. Everything will be okay. <laughs> but if we vote for Romney, <laughs> things will really be good. <laughs> Beast rolled along on the wide open plains, and he carried the monsters and the loads of those trains. While the monsters and trains had a party and drank, the Kool Aid they drank made them toot, and it stank. But toot? <laughs> it's kind of like a poo poo with just air. But all did agree it was better than work. <laughs> hey, fellas, we have said. It's exactly what it is, a fart. <laughs> Couldn't put that in the book, though, you know? Because the little children would laugh too hard. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> okay, but all did agree it was better than work. They fellas would have said. See, this is why I didn't put fart in there. You'd still be laughing. <laughs> did you notice that jerk? Yeah, he's in the Oval Office. <laughs> and we're just outside Fargo with all of their cargo when Beast bellowed smoke with a shrill. He puffed and he shuddered, then finally muttered, I don't think I can make that next hill. It's a big hill. Help. That says help in smoke. Can anyone help, Beast asked with a yelp. I seem to be losing my grip. Because he's hauling all the trains. He's the only one working. Everybody else is partying and drinking Kool-Aid. and <laughs> They're farting. <laughs> and they're Obama voters. That's no wonder it stinks so bad. <laughs> no way, yelled the throng. You're big and you're strong. It's not fair. We should work on this trip. That's Joe Biden right there. Thank you. <laughs> See, he's almost, he's almost in coma. <laughs> Joe Biden. Is he going to die? Well, no. some people question whether he was ever alive. <laughs> it's really an amazing thing. See, he's still yelling, help! <laughs> and then, but Beast lost his grip and he started to slip down that slope. Oh, so slippery and steep. The train started screaming, say, what is the meaning? We're going to crash in a terrible heap. They slid down that hill, going faster and faster, headed toward terrible, certain disaster. The monsters flew off on bat wings of flapping. They were no help at all. They flew away laughing. Hee hee, ha ha, ho ho. See, that's it. <laughs> See, very good. <coughs> nice, nice yapper. <laughs> then who should appear in Beast's rearview mirror? It was one. See, there's one right back there. Way back of there. Oh, please help us, one. We're in terrible trouble. You bet, cried out one. I'll be there on the double. Semper Fi. What is she trying to do? He's trying to save those trains. One started to push on the beast and the rest, and he knew this would be his ultimate test. As he pushed, he said over and over again, Oh, I... my feet are stuck. <laughs> he said, I simply must save them. I must save my friend. Yes, your feet are stuck. <laughs> His feet are stuck, see? He ain't got them sliding sideways. He is trying to save everybody. Can one save them all? No. Oh, blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> the train still remember. Gold. Gold, exactly. Wow. You're a smart little lily. The trains still remember that day outside Fargo when one saved them all and all of their cargo. So one can save them all. And they grew up that day, the story is told. No, do, no more parties with Democrats. They pull their own load. <laughs> Monsters. I'm sorry. It's the same thing. You'll grow up and learn. But who, who's made out of gold now? Yes, he is, because they made a statue for him, because one... 
our hero. See, one is a hero. And they say that the one thing they learn most of all... Why is he a statue now? Because they, that's the way you treat your heroes. You make statues for them, and you have parades, and they, they kiss old babies, and it's just <laughs> lots of fun. And they say that the one thing they learn most of all is one makes a difference, whether one's big or small. When was he not a statue? When he was on this page, right here, being a hero. So once he turned into a hero, they made a statue. So, But they didn't make him a statue. They made a statue of him. Big difference. <laughs> Unlike golden calves that Obama has made all over the White House and they're worshipping them and it's really, really getting bad. Yeah. The end. Oh, where?